This is a story about trees, toilets, and how you can help save our forests. Wow, what an absolute beauty. Oh hey, my name's Ross. I'm a bit of a nerd for all things nature. And right now, I'm in one of my favorite places in the entire world, an old growth temperate rainforest. Over the past century, demand for toilet paper has contributed to the destruction of these primary forests, and ecosystems like this are now incredibly rare. Stands of ancient trees like this currently make up less than 1% of all the forests we have here in British Columbia. Whoa! Check out this incredible ancient western red cedar! I wonder how big it is! With a height of 140 feet, a diameter of 13 feet 4 inches, this tree is well over 1,000 years old. That's bonkers! To get a real sense of how big these trees are, you've got to go up. These old growth trees are ecosystems unto themselves. There's life on life on life up here. Here in the forest canopy, there's all sorts of mosses, ferns, lichen that work to create habitat for a wide range of biodiversity in this web of life that we all share. Everything from huckleberry to western hemlock to marble murrelets, bald eagles, owls, down to bear, deer, flying squirrels, and tree frogs. Heck, even salmon depend on these big trees. Being up here really puts things into perspective. Not only are these forests absolutely beautiful, but they're essential to our survival as a species. They perform numerous ecological functions, from providing us with clean air and drinking water, to mitigating the risk of wildfire, floods, and landslides, to sucking up and storing vast amounts of carbon that helps regulate our climate across the entire planet. Beyond that though, just being in these forest canopies, it's good for the soul. But the heartbreaking reality is that these forests are endangered. You might be surprised to know that ancient trees are still being cut down in Canada today. What's even worse is that many of these trees will end up as single-use products like toilet paper. It probably only took a matter of minutes to cut down this ancient western red cedar, but I wonder how long it took to grow here in the first place. 842, 843, 844. This tree was at least 844 years old when it got cut down. That's crazy. With the loss of these trees, we've exacerbated climate change, increased erosion, fragmented wildlife, and destroyed the ecological function of these forests. Yes, trees will grow back, but it will take thousands of years for these forests to return to their original state. By now you might be asking, why do we start turning these ancient trees into something as mundane as toilet paper? This is a pulp mill where trees and wood products are turned into pulp that are then exported to foreign countries where it's processed into single-use paper. And the Canadian pulp industry is huge. It's the second largest exporter in the world. There are 129 different mills operating throughout Canada processing everything from coastal temperate rainforest to boreal forest, with so many of those trees ending up as American toilet paper that it's been dubbed the tree to toilet pipeline. Big toilet paper brands love to brag about sustainability. They claim that lumber drives logging and that they're merely using the leftovers, but that's total bullcuss. Wood pulp is a $7.8 billion industry here in Canada. Clearly, wood pulp isn't just a waste product. It's big business and toilet paper companies demand a lot of it. It's really easy to cast blame, but ultimately, it's demand from folks like me and you for these paper products that makes it profitable to log these ancient forests in the first place. So how do we end up in this mess? For most of human history, we just used whatever was laying around. Hay, corn husks, moss, you name it. Toilet paper wasn't a packaged commodity until 1857 in the United States, and even back then, it was pretty rough. Huh? Literally. Ouch! Toilet paper made its big breakthrough with a splinter-free version in 1935, but Americans didn't stop there. And since then, it's become an arms race of who can make the softest toilet paper. The problem is, in the past, if you wanted that super fluffy feel, you needed virgin wood pulp that often came from clear-cutting forests. So now, the big toilet paper brands are trapped in a downward spiral of logging more and more ancient trees. The average American uses 141 rolls of toilet paper a year, and together, we consume more TP than any other country. Around the world, we chop down nearly 10 million trees a year just to wipe our butts. The reality is, we're flushing our forests down the toilet. But there could be a solution. What if we could create tree-free toilet paper soft enough to satisfy even the most demanding American consumer? 
bamboo and recycled content are more sustainable alternatives, and it's taken decades to perfect the manufacturing process. The folks at Real Paper are disrupting the industry through a breakthrough in plushness. In the past, when consumers wanted a sustainable toilet paper, it felt like they were wiping with sandpaper, but we were determined to find a solution. So we put the best toilet paper scientists on the job and have created a soft, sustainable solution. Thanks to these innovative fibers, we can finally wipe our bums without wiping out our forests. While threats to old growth trees persist around the world, there is hope. All over, people are rising up to defend the last of these ancient forests. While many environmental issues these days can seem insurmountable, our issue with tissue, it's easy. Let's choose tree-free toilet paper to keep our forests standing. <laughs>